Well, we know this July has been a scorcher around the world. Unless you're on the coast, California has also been exceptionally hot. All that heat may have you thinking about the rain. So in tonight's Project Earth, some high school students have done the thinking for us all as they plan to capture every single drop. Ann Makovic explains. At Oceana High in Pacifica, a student-led community garden is growing. We're building more garden beds, we're growing plants, we have chickens, we're gonna move that shed over there to the left to make room for rabbits. Yeah, you guys like it. Roman Doyle is the president of the Oceana Garden Club. Here, students learn everything from raising chickens to growing vegetables. Also on the curriculum, climate change. It's a big issue because global warming can change the world as we know it. Especially if we keep going with the amount of greenhouse gases that we're using now, it's not going to be good for anybody. With global warming, water can become more scarce, unpredictable, even polluted. One strategy to conserve water every single drop by capturing rainwater. We don't have to keep drawing from the school's water. We can start using our own. That dream is now one step closer to reality thanks to two determined young women. We're very concerned about climate change. I think this is really exciting because we've worked really hard. Meet Jaylene Vare and Cassandra Gomez. They are students from Westmore High in Daly City. So it's already two and a half. They drew up the plans to help Oceana's garden by installing rain barrels. So these blue barrels are barrels that catch water from the gutters, and we're gonna be installing the cinder blocks today and get the barrels on top and also get the plumbing system underneath working. Their efforts are all part of a Youth Climate Ambassador Leadership Program. High school students across San Mateo County can apply. So for our last cohort, we received over 130 applications and we only selected 50 students, so it is a pretty competitive program. We teach students um, about climate change, but more importantly, we help them take action in their local communities. Karen Wang and Jess Dominic are with the county's sustainability department. Their division joined forces with four other entities. There's a rainbow. The Citizens Environmental Council, Peninsula Clean Energy, the county's Office of Education, and Ectera. During the seven-month program, students develop projects that directly target some of the local impacts of climate change. These students are so resilient. We need their enthusiasm, their imagination. We need that. The rain barrels will help to address extreme weather events. In the Bay Area, we've been hit with pretty severe storms in the last few years, and we expect it to continue next year. And we always wonder, like, when are the droughts going to come? And these barrels will help conserve the water during the rainy season, and we'll be able to use them when there's droughts. The next hurdle, having adults take climate change and these teenagers more seriously. I think that's where it has to change. People have to start taking young adults as um, individuals who are capable of changing the world. In this case, shaping the future by cherishing every single drop. We can learn from them. Next Thursday, San Mateo County begins accepting online applications for the next seven-month program. The county also offers rebates on rain barrels for qualified residents. So for more information on how to apply for either program, just go to kpix.com.